All right, you guys, welcome back to another episode of Casual Crypto Gamer. I am back with Paradise Tycoon, which is going to be entering its beta phase. So we went from alpha snapshots to now beta phase about to come right here this month. So let's see. So you already know a little bit of change coming up. Uh, awesome, you're finally here. I had to restart the game. I'm Wallace, Wally Street, the boss. Okay, and you must be one of the lucky lottery winners. Follow me. So before I do that, if I am using a controller, nope. Actually, he's moving by himself right now. So we'll do that, let that go. So you can already see some changes to the game from the different angle. Let's see if there's any other changes. There's a bunch of grass that slows you down as you walk through it. Here it is, the grand prize, your personal paradise. Okay, it might need a bit of love and care, but that's all part of the fun, right? Don't worry, I know exactly what you need uh, to do here. Take this smart compass, usually compass. Okay, we got the compass already. Well, give the compass a try. Click the backpack icon to open your inventory. So remember, this is all the same stuff that we've all gone through before if you played the game. So we just drag it or click it on here. Is it? Let's see, I just drag it on there and close it. Now we have a compass. Equip the compass, talk to Hayden. So we get these missions to do. Hey, it's uh, okay. Meanwhile, go talk to Hayden at the farm. He will get you started. Okay, the same thing, the farming again, this guy over here. But before I go over there, the reason why I'm bringing this game up again, again, a different point of view, larger island, there's a treasure chest over here. So the road to Paradise Tycoon, journey ahead for Paradise Tycoon, so here it is, it was released on February 2nd, this article. So entering the beta phase, so it starts in February of 24, beta snapshot 1, and will possibly have multiplayer features, player's account with a unit passport. Then March 24th is an NFT migration, Paradise Passport, NFT Mint, April, May, June, and beyond. That is their plans. This is a little roadmap they have going for the game. Uh, NFT migration and Paradise Passport. For, your, for our NFT holders, which I do have NFTs, this is all free. I did not buy anything. That's why if you played the games, you should, could have gotten these things for free. It only cost you possibly the gas the money to do it. The migration of your existing Paradise Tycoon NFT NFTs to your newly created account will be straightforward via a dedicated website launching in March. So that will happen. Paradise NFTs will be minted, having been slightly redesigned to align more closely with both our testing needs for the beta phase and expectation of our vibrant community. So this is the example of policy of their website. The Paradise Passport NFT isn't just any ticket, it's a key to unlocking exclusive tier in seasonal tasks. This feature rolling out in beta snapshot 2 come April. We'll reward players for completing daily tasks with enticing rewards holders of the Paradise Passport NFT. However, we'll have the added advantage of earning Moani tokens. So now they're introducing the Moani tokens in, that's an in-game currency, which is great. That, while, finally, while fully functional for trading and, and NPC interaction during the beta, will remain off-chain until our official launch. So looks like this will be, may become an actual crypto token. I hope they keep it just in game, but we'll see what happens. Expanding the horizon with new features. First up, we're introducing multiplayer features and environment. This means we are also diversifying the game world with the introduction of biomes. Let me turn the SFX volume down a little bit. If it's any crypto game, make sure you turn the volume down. There's always some loud noise as you start it. This not only adds depth to the game strategy but also mirrors the diverse ecosystem of a real world marketplace. Introducing players to player trading, utilizing the in-game currency, Moani, you can trade anything from non-NFT resource to mintable and already minted rare items. NFT crafting allows you to use rare resources for crafting unique items from invaluable tools to decorative artifacts. Okay, you can read this. I'll leave the link there. Genesis land and beyond. I don't like lands. Uh, as we wrap up the beta phase in May, players will have the opportunity to utilize their hard-on paradise token to acquire gen. Okay, so it may not cost you anything, which is good. So you end up using paradise coupons to acquire Genesis land. That's that I can work with. So how do you get paradise coupon coupons by playing the game? Or of course, I've told you many times. Well, actually, link left the link all the times on this. Join the Discord. Join the Discord because they have different types of things. They'll have uh. So let's see, competitions, giveaways, they have meme competition, we just end it, you know, all you do is just post your memes on there, and then you can win Paradise. And let's see, like this person, the top one, Epic Chest, and 2,000 tycoon, tycoon Points, you know, things like that. 
It's the best way to get Paradise coupons. Uh, post on Paradise Tycoon will enter an exciting phase of live operation, teaming with variety of new events and activity designed to keep world vibrant and engaging. And that vision doesn't stop there. Two major expansions are on the horizon for the end of 2024. We still got a long way to go. Uh, our goal is to grow our gamer base to 5 million players by the end, year's end. We'll see what, how that happens. I mean, they will be, they do have the phone, Android, and I think Apple also has it as well. So you can play the game on there. So let's kind of, let's play. Let's do some missions. Let's see if we can earn some Paradise coupons. I know there's a way to check it. I'm going to try to find out how to check. I think I got like six or seven Paradise coupons. So let's go talk to this guy first. I got to make sure I remember how to do this. Okay, L2 to run. Okay, how do I talk to him? E. Alright, talk to Hayden. So we get a Skyf. And of course, hello there, name's Hayden Barnes, and I'm in charge of taking care of this land, and you must be one of the lottery winners. Between you and me, the soup follow fellow doesn't have a clue about farming, but he does play well. Alright, okay, we're we'll gonna come skip this, use the Skyf to clear it. Okay, go to your backpack. Put the sky fin, click on it, and what's the action? I think square for me is the action button. So maybe you can uh, zoom in and clear to farm plots, plant seeds, return to Hayden. So we can, do we have any seeds? Okay, that's right, widespread. Grow wheat seeds into the soil, seeds are found in the food tab. So we go to the food tab over here, put our seeds in. Click on it, plant it, I guess this one doesn't plant, there it goes, and then return to Hayden to accomplish that task, and how do I click on the, oh there it goes, so A or B on the Xbox controller, okay you have a lock wood and rock, my uncle Cletus won this year's turnip growing contest, just still think about the turnip sometimes. Alright, so let's get a cl closer camera view. See what we can do with our compass. Our compass is leading us where? To this guy right here. Report back to Wally. Cut eight grass, open the chest, fix the crafting station, collect six resources, and talk to Wally. So when you do a bunch of these crafting stuff, make sure you have... Okay, come on. I got you. Make sure you have a notepad somewhere around you. Because sometimes these crafting things can take a, you know, back and forth. So when you have the notepad around you, it's easier to tell what you need. All right, hey, grass is done. So remember, if you go into grass, and there, here's the key. Go ahead, open the chest. I'll let you have everything that's inside. If you go into grass, you slow down a little bit. And then when you get off the grass, you run. Slow down, run. That's a neat little feature. I like that. Alright, we got the stuff. Open the chest, fix the crafting station. Okay, now we gotta do that. Here's your brand new crafting station. Hold up, this isn't brand new at all. Think, Wally. No need to panic, I'm sure you can fix this. Use the hammer from the chest to get the building in action. And so, and some wood and rock. Okay, we can do that. Now, the question is, where can we build it? So the problem becomes this grass does grow back. Even clearing everything wouldn't matter. I'm just trying to see where I can put it. All right, so let's. Uh, I need a sheet. Okay, I don't have that. So I got seven wood, seven rock, and two palm trees. I got my NFTs in there, ancient key as well. Uh, okay, let's see. What do I do? How do I do this? Uh, Okay, there it is. So they, that's the new stuff that they put. So on the side over here, the crafting options are there. It gives you the different stuff. Storage hut, that's important. Juice bar, crafting station. So then we'll go with that first. We need five wood and five stone. So how do I drag? Oh, wait, what the heck? So we can put it right here, I guess. And then, what do I do? Press E. 
Okay, then this is something new. So I'll work going again. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. But doesn't even though I have five wood and five wood, there's no menu that shows me my resource to the side, which was last time. I think they need to maybe update that version of it. All right, we'll build it. Your timer is right here. Or was this the crafting wood right here? Problem solved. Back to the point piece. You need more stuff to actually use it. Let's get your hands dirty. Go pick some resources. There are plenty scattered across the island. What was this thing? Well, there you go. So that's my first mistake. There's a crafting station right over here. Alright, so... Don't do the mistake I just did is build a new crafting station. You don't need to do that. There's one right there. So even though I got this one, we'll continue to work at it. I do end up wasting some resources. So when I got two, two, whatever, who cares? It was going to pull my resources anywhere. Maybe I can use a shovel to remove that. So now, of course, we need resources. What do I need to do? Where is my goal test? Here's my stuff, my hat, all that stuff. Why do I need that? I'll keep the island shirt. Shorts are fine. What is this redeem one? Press to add redeem. Okay, so there's some codes available later on. So we'll do that later. Uh, let's see. What do I need to? Where's my goal? Where's my task at? Okay, here it goes. Follow the red arrow to collect the resources from around the room. So we need to do that. Put our compass. Compass will tell us. Okay, nice. Follow the, okay, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. And of course, the camera always does that. So we can move the camera back. Talk to Wally. Of course, try to collect. Uh, always try to collect every time. You see it, collect it. Palm trees, jump through this area. I'm gonna leave the corn or wheat for now. All right. So you have unlocked a copper ore. Look what the tide dragged in. Take this copper ore as well. I'm not used to carrying anything heavier than a stack of money. Picking sticks and rocks from the ground will only get you so far. What you need is a proper axe. You have almost all the needed parts, but you need to craft some rope to hold the axe together. Use the crafting station and select rope. Click Q, item, and craft. So we'll go to the crafting station. I do need a hammer. So we have the rope. So here it is. So all it takes is one palm, Q item. So that's that's more of a thing I'm more used to. I don't know why that was something different for the other part. So we'll craft it. Craft an axe. So again, our crafting. Oh come on, man! All you need is an axe. Okay. Select the. Yeah, we got you. We got you. We got you. So go to our tool section. Got a hammer. Got the crude axe, so we need four, two, one. We do have that, and then we'll craft. And then talk to Wally. All right, let's see. Okay, you have fine axe blueprint and fine pickaxe blueprint. That axe is good enough for now, but it will teach you how to upgrade into, into a fine axe later. So this is where you need a notepad. And you can either write it down with your hand, or you can just type, open up your notepad on your computer and just type everything on there. So we can click on, uh, not the hammer, I need the axe. I know there's a tree over here. Oh. 
Oh, game's freezing. Oh, game's freezing. It's lagging. So this one will get about three pieces of wood. He used to get five or six before. Okay, we can get rid of that. Two. I thought I was, maybe three. Oh, there, there it is. Okay, always look or turn around because there's always something hiding, or it sometimes it'll get stuck in trees or something like that. So this one give us plank blueprint and nails blueprint. So slowly by slowly we're getting all these blueprints. You're going to need some planks and nails. This one I have one very, very important task for you. The trader has some great deals on the nearby island. Why don't you hop across the bridge and trade that wood for amethyst? Bring me amethyst to me and you'll be rewarded for your effort. So let's do that. Put our compass in. We don't need it because we know where the island is. Or we can just back up a little bit. Trader is right over there with the hat, red hat. Hey, bud. Okay, let's see. Uh, three wood. Do we have three wood? Yes, we do. We can trade that for some amethyst. And then we'll return to Wally and come back to the trader later on. Alright, I'm just trying to uh, finish off all these goals as much as possible to see if, let's see if we can get a paradise coupon, which is what we need to stack up. For the minting that will be coming up again don't make the mistake there's your crafting station right over here don't mail the new one like i did okay you can give me a yes i did now give me money all right what do we got so you have unlocked crude pickaxe and a simple plant pot that is something new maybe that's for your house or something sweet i can bank big bucks off of that suppose you deserve some rewards as well here have the pickaxe mining is the Bedrock for success. You can also take this plant and place it in your tent to brighten it up. Oh, I almost forgot. You're now certified ruler of this island. Congratulations. Feel free to explore the tropics with your boat. Wait a second. To be honest, your boat is the total mess. You should craft a repair kit to fix it. So that'll be probably our next goal. But before you do, Aiden, the farmer, Jolly, the chief, and the trader all want it to have a chat with you. And if you're up for a real adventure, go check out the mysterious portal on the island to the east. That is the... So let's check out our tent and get rid of this plant we have. So this is our home. We'll eventually build another home. So let's see what we got. So we can just drag it, put it on there. Okay, so that nothing happened there. What happened to the plant then? Is there something that we can use? Let's see, hold up, maybe I have to put it here, click on it, yeah, there it goes. So, put, put it right there. Now we have the plant all set up and good to go. Get rid of our, from our inventory as well. All right, so I'm back on my main island. What I'm probably gonna do is start skipping all a bunch of, bunch of stuff until I can figure out how to get a Paradise coupon. So once that's, I know how to do that, I'll come back, I'll post that second part of it or I'll just add it on to this video so you can click on info copper ore okay these are the nft tokens the ancient keys yeah that one's for the ancient eagle statue this one seems something new I remember having so I remember having this rare tool increased chance of finding hardwood logs and pristine acorn I wonder if I can use this because that's an axe Come on now, this grass gotta go. A uh, minute. Leave it there for a second. Talk to him. Uh, talk to Hayden. Talk to Jolly. Yeah, sure, why not? And listen, I have a trick or two about farming to show you. The chop should be fully grown by now. Use the sky to harvest all the precious wheat. Okay, we need our scythe. We'll get, a, we'll get a rid of that. 
Oops, no, I need that. Let's see. So this one will give us what? Seven or eight? Oh, it's nine. So we're ready to harvest nine wheat. Okay, use the shovel on a tree. You got it easy on to the pie. The hang of it here, take the shovel. Good, we got a shovel. There's a tree behind that that blocks that path to the dock, okay? Done. So we got that. Okay, we're gonna need to get rid of this. Too bad I can't just chop it down. Talk to Hayden. Let me go pick up that piece of wood. So we get pink flowers and white flowers. That's mighty fine work. Okay, if we move almost anything around the island so we can move almost anything, take these flowers as well and place them where you want. So I don't need the flowers. You should try in your hand at farming. Tomatoes next, visit the trader across the bridge. Okay, get the tomato seeds. Let's talk more after you have planted. Go and harvest a bunch of fresh tomatoes. So let's see. Let's see if a minute has been done. I want to try out this legendary or axe right here. Oh, it looks like something fell. Oh, it looks like something fell. Wood, what do we get? Pristine acorn. So okay, so this axe is already having some benefits to it. So this is a mintable item that I got from a legendary chest. Again, if you did everything and did the paradise coupons, did the task early on in the alpha stage, you would have came up nicely on some new NFT items. So this axe is axe is already gonna play out well for me. Of course, I can jump in the water and just swim over, but he doesn't swim fast enough. So we need tomatoes. So we got one bag of tomatoes, two bags, we got 36 wheat. We got 18 wheat, so I can do that. So I don't get, he doesn't give me, give us any free wheat anymore. Before, I believe he used to give us free wheat. So none of this is NFTs. I think, yeah, these are just blueprints. But for now, we'll hold off on all of that. New stock comes in eight hours. So there's a, always an eight hour refresh. Come on, let's go. I don't want to go through all that grass. And again, I got to clear this area up. get our tomato seeds get rid of the shovel and plant this oh yeah I only have one bag so instead let's see do I have any more wheat no I don't Okay, food used in consumables. Okay, what do we have? Welcome to Paradise. Talk to Jolly and then plant and harvest tomatoes. That's what I'm doing. What I want to do is get rid of these plants. So as you can see, this is our storage for now. So for a 12 slots. So I don't need anything. So what I'm going to do... is go into my tent and let's see if I can get rid of them. No, I can't place them.
all these items I don't need, they take up space, it's not worth having around, so we just put it right here. Especially when inventory is critical and you don't have a storage unit yet. So again, we put it there, get rid of that, clears our inventory, and then we'll talk to Jolly. Jolly the Green Giant. See how the camera just, like, see, that's something that's been plaguing this game since the beginning. It has not been fixed yet. So this is Jolly, our cook. Basil, garlic, and parsley, part of me. Okay, we know that. Welcome, Jolly. Our travel, yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's make it help me find, yes. The secrets of catching rare seed, what do you say? Great, the first step of catching is a fishing rod. We need that. I should have one already. Quest our tropical cuisine. Do I have a fishing rod? I guess I need to craft one. So craft a fishing rod and of course the tomatoes. Man, I should just should create another uh, workshop or something crafting site. Gotta get my hammer out. Let's see what we need for the fishing rod. So we need two rope. Okay, so we can do the rope. Remember, always collect these palm trees anytime you see stone, palm trees, wood, anytime you see it, collect them. Because these things, I, man. So the nails now take the copper ore. That, wow, that kind of sucks. That kind of adds more difficulty to the game, which is alright. It's going to take a lot more time now. So what I'll do is uh, add another one. And then a fishing rod needs to be that, so I do need it. Okay, we'll do the rope. Go back into the menu. Go to our tool section. Do the item. Craft it. Okay, that task is complete. Talk to Jolly and then catch a fish. Why is the compass leading that way? So, okay, come on, let's go. Equip the fishing rod and use it near the water. Okay. Toss the line. I got. I can't remember what the controls were. Was it A or B? I can't remember what it was. To reel in. Nope. So it's not B on the Xbox controller. I think it's probably A. It's taking longer than usual. Okay, so it is a, remember we gotta get it up without going over, otherwise the line will break. We can fight it, so when it turns red, it is struggling against us. Oh wow, I thought I had it. Okay, so that's one. So we got the fish, so you have unlocked wheat sack. Not bad for our first catch of the day. Hey, I got an idea for a recipe. The tropical fish could make a great appetizer, perhaps some wheat and a few more fish to make a seafood sandwich. Cut the fish into a tiny fillet by equipping the fish and using it. Here, take these wheat seeds. Ask the farmer if you need help growing them. I can test my latest recipe once you bring me three common fillets and nine wheat. So, we go into that. That So, we got the wheat seeds. So, the way you look at it, if it's a... So, this is common. It'll tell you like that. By going to info and putting comments. So, sardine. So Or you can take a picture of it and make sure to memorize it if you are playing this game a bunch of times. So I need three of them. Well, I'll go and plant my wheat seeds for now. Yeah, every time I'm jumping, it's starting to lag. Again, the sky is needed. Oh, 
plant it first before getting the tomatoes. Maybe to fix the problem with the tomatoes and everything just jumping out into the air and getting stuck in the air. So fine scythe. Sharper scythe soon. I'll teach you how to improve the rickety tool of yours in the fine scythe. Now that you have basic farming under control, it's time to focus on finer things in life. Perhaps you should live liven up your empty tent with some furniture. I reckon you should get some cloth to get the ball rolling. Craft a pair of clippers, use them on a fluffy sheep, and turn the wool into cloth roll at the crafting station. Do I have anything? So I got tomatoes. So what I need to do is get some fish. Three common fish. So you guys see a piece of rock there, and I see. Fishing is taking forever now. So we got, I can't remember what this flounder, I think it was a flounder. Oh right there, flushy flounder, name's on the thing. This one. I'm just pressing in the yellow, quickly tapping it, got it. So I need, I think one more common, I'm not sure if that was a common or not. Of course, we know the sardine is a common. Alright, let's see. Do I have three common fish? Common. Yep. So, we have, I have three. Go back. Ah, oh, come on. I keep forgetting. And, of course, the camera changed again. This view is much better with uh, when you're looking for resources. What the heck? I'm stuck. Oh, I need the nine wheat. That's what I got. So that's what I forgot. He does walk a little faster on the grass, but he does not run. So what do we need for the cloth? Bed, makeshift sofa, makeshift cabin. It's common right there. Cloth roll. I need sheep wool, but I need a fine clippers. So I need one stone, three wood, and one rope. We can do the wood, uh, rope. So that's little bug right there. He didn't do any action. I'll go get the the wheat. Why is he not? Oh, still 160 seconds. But let me get some. Chop down this tree a little bit. Get my legendary axe out. If you don't have this, no worries at the moment. Hopefully, you can. By playing the game, earning your paradise coupons, you could end up with something like this or even better. So this time I got a hardwood log and two pieces of wood. So get our corn. Say, yeah, every time I do a jumping something, jump kind of jumping sequence, 
jumping action, it just removes it. Maybe I can get rid of this. It says build. If you want to remove this building, you will only receive 50% of the material. I never even use materials. So that, get, that clears it up. All right, so that clears up that space, which I didn't want. Again, don't make the mistake. I'll do that. Oh, I need a hammer. We'll go talk to Jolet. Oh wait, I need to fillet the fish. So I gotta go to my fish. Select it and then I press the action sequence. That's one, two, three. Now we can talk to Jolly. Yes. Okay, talk to Jolly. We get a sturdy fishing rod blueprint. That helps us out a little bit later on. We need a. What do we need? The clippers. So here's a stone. I don't. Do I have. Yeah, I do have a pickaxe. Remember, when you see these things available, the, the tree, get the wood from that. The stone, get it, get the stone from this. We need these stones. Some these things will usually provide you ore as well, but you need a a higher level pickaxe than what we have right now at the beginning of the game. He floated in the air. So, uh, what, so again, and I gotta go back to figure out how many of uh, what I need. I need the sheep, but I need the clippers. So I have that. Down. Okay, so I do have that. Now I can go clip, clip, clip the sheep. Let's go find Mr. Bat. Equip it. It's around here somewhere. Oh, okay. That yeah, I gotta stop jumping. It does lag the game. Look at that. are close to it you need to equip the sky no I'm not trying to do the sky I'm doing this sheep here sheepy sheepy ah oh, come on really dude gonna make me work for it aren't you wait no come back there it goes what are you doing there it goes I don't need that sunflower right there, or that yellow flower right now at, at this point. Oh, the camera, the camera, camera. I mean, that view is okay if it was first person or something, or even in, right behind him. I think that would have been fine. We get the cloth roll, we can... Wait, I thought I got... What? I got the sheep thingy. Oh dang! So that uh, that was a little bug right there. Even though, oh no, we maybe do I have to go find it and pick it up? Oh, there it is. See, what the heck? Come on, really? Should have been just automatically added onto it. Now we can do the coffee. So I'll probably do a full videos of every step I take. Talk to Hayden once the beta release comes out. Uh, 
receipts. Must be February something. Where was it at? If I look at the announcements. So the Milani token, go 5 million players, multiplayer and P2P, P2P trading, NFT crafting, Genesis land. Alright, we get that good stuff coming up. Okay. okay. So we had this second edition Wipeout Waters announced. This was a little tournament. Uh, it's a poker tournament, or no, Parker Challenge tournament. Maze Challenge, second edition live. This one's ended as well. Whitelist opportunity giveaways. If you missed that, this brawl game, I'm into that one. That had a free mint pass as well. So I'm waiting for this one. Hopefully, it turns out to be something really good. This is the uh, developers of Rockstar Games, former developers, I should say. Uh, they probably had a hand in GTA, but in their their game is supposed to be something of that line. But we'll see how that turns out. Right now, they only have a, what's called a sprawl game sim simulator. All you're doing is sending your characters off to task and then come back seven, eight, nine hours later for it and see what you get. Um, Genesis vehicle drop for this game. So again, I would, if you want me to, I can put this uh, Discord link as well, the sprawl game. Uh, embark on a tycoon adventure. Right now, all the free mints are gone. I did, I, I didn't get any free mint. I did end up buying uh, mint pass. It was a uh, very cheap, less than a, maybe a dollar. So I took a shot at it. Now the, those mint passes are nice above that, possibly maybe even less now. I don't know. I haven't checked. But anyways, it didn't cost me a ton to go get into that game, so I'm happy with it. Uh, Embark on Tycoon Adventure with no sandbox game. Okay, so they partnered with Sandbox Games. You can, of course, download it from there, right there, but you'll need the Sandbox Games launcher. Or you can just, of course, go to Paradise Tycoon and just play the game like that. Uh, streams, they have that. Lots of news lately. Catch up. The Twitter is available. Giveaways for MetaDOS. I don't. Too many first person games on there. I really don't care for much. So here's the important stuff again. I already went over the Pass Access Gateway. So if you crunch minting, Paradise Pass, formerly known as Paradise Pass Port, including Moana tokens through daily tasks and weekly tasks started with beta snapshot 2 in April. So that'll be that's beta snapshot 2. One and wildlife slot here's how to earn at least three paradise coupons by being actively engaged in our community. So you know join. I've said that many times participating in in-game events and then excess supply if any will be distributed to standout web3 gaming communities. White list, white list claiming period February 25th to 29th. It will be on Discord, so join up, please. I will leave the link below. It doesn't cost you anything, and I earn nothing from you joining. Mint date March 21st. Free mint. Come on. Free. All it will probably cost you is maybe gas, and that's only pennies, especially on the Avalanche Avalanche chain. We'll announce details, info on the mint supply, info transparency on one token reward around the claiming period. If you're short on coupons, don't worry, it's not too late because they run competitions all the time. The last one was a mean competition. If you missed out on that, you know, what can I say? Uh, so I'm going to leave that here, otherwise I'll just be continuing playing. If I do somehow find a way to earn Paradise, complete a goal and earn Paradise coupon, I'll post that link there. I'll post a new video, I should say. I'll leave a link to the Discord again. I highly suggest you guys join. It is free, free, free. Don't miss out on free stuff. Don't stop paying all these other games money just for the game to either crash and go away and you lose out big time. Um, you know, games gamers, you know, who want to push Web3 into the new stage, this is the way to do it. It's not going to be just charging people a few hundred dollars just to buy a dumb NFT that doesn't get you anywhere. And the game either rugs or the developers steal and take off. Uh, let's see, and I've seen that many times with different games already. Uh, that's it. I'm going to leave that here. Uh, I hope you are playing this game. Just check it out at least. You can check it on your Android phone, I, uh, Apple. You can even play on the iPad or whatever it is. Join, definitely join Discord. Don't miss the announcement. Don't miss the free stuff. At least get your free stuff going. You know, Make sure you have MetaMask connected to the game. To Discord, and of uh, this one, click on the accept invite. I already have done this, but I can do it again. I don't care.
this item, uh, I maybe try, or you might not have permission. Oh, okay, so maybe you can try it at least. So make sure you try it and click on that and get your stuff. I'll leave that over here. Thank you guys for always watching and sticking with me. Hit that subscribe button if you are new. Hit that like button. Leave a comment below. Where you at in this game? Have you earned any Paradise coupons? Let me know what you're standing, what you need help with. I'm always here to help. And it may take me a day or two to answer back, but at least I will try to answer back with the questions you guys ask. Appreciate everything. Take care. Have a good one.